Welcome to Fast Math U. I know what it's like to struggle through math. I know what it's like to sit in class and other kids are shooting out answers to problems really fast and you're just sitting there going, boy, I have no idea what's going on. And I've created Fast Math U to help you to understand that kids that are doing math quickly and easily may not be doing the same math that you're doing. They're probably doing easy math and you're doing hard math. And I'm going to show you some tricks to make math fast for you. And it's really easy if you have some an understanding of some basic ideas. So let's get started. Today's trick revolves around subtraction. Now, if you're like me, I'm a subtraction hater. I hate subtraction. I'm not good at it. It slows me down. So I don't like to really do subtraction. And when I do subtraction, I like to add instead. And if I can't add, I like to use this trick. So check it out. Let's say, let me get rid of this for a second. Let's say we have two people. And these are going to be numbers in a minute. But there's one guy and another guy. And this dude's taller than this dude. Well, subtraction, what is it really? It's just figuring out the space in between two things. So usually two numbers. But if this were a guy and this were another guy, we'd be figuring out how big how far apart they are. Is this guy's taller? Well, how, what's the distance here? Now, would it matter if I put this guy on top of a little step and this guy on top of the exact same step? No. If I increase their height, but I do it to the same, I do the same to each one of them, this space will not change. Now, this idea is going to help you do some really cool math. And a lot of kids that are shooting out answers really fast know this but you may not. So, and you could, look at this, if I make this guy stand on another step and this guy stand on the exact same step, I know they're a little messy, but pretend they're exactly the same. Again, this step, this space here from here to here is not gonna change. I'm just raising them up. So now we can use this idea to make some hard math super, super easy. Check this out. All right, check this out. So we've got 27 minus 18. Ick, yuck. I hate even looking at that thing. Look how ugly it is. A lot of kids are like shooting out answers. I'm like, oh, what? A, what's going on here? What do I have to do? I have to carry, uh, turn this into a 17, take the one away from here. What am I doing? I don't even understand what I'm doing. The teacher told me to do this. 17 is 9. It takes me forever. Okay, so you got the answer. But what's the problem here is I don't really know what I'm doing. I've just memorized a way to do it, which is okay, I guess. But what if you, if you do this, like me, someday you're going to get into math and it's going to cause real problems. And you're not going to know what to do. So check this out. All right, let's imagine we've got 27 over here and 18. 27 dude, 18 dude. Now remember, we said subtraction is just the space in between. It's just the space in between. Now, check that eight is really not making my life easy but what if it were this problem 29 minus 20. oh my goodness look how easy that is i don't have to worry about all this wriggle now look at this you just bring down nine nine 29 minus nine would you believe that this can be this problem that's right folks you can turn magically to turn these this problem into this problem i'm going to show you how remember the step thing now, how can I get this to turn into a 20? Well, if I have this guy stand on two things, or I, I add two to him, plus two, he goes up to 20. Does that make sense? Now, as long as I do the same thing to 27, dude, this space will stay the same. So watch this. So I'm going to put the same two steps underneath 27, dude. So I add 2 here, add 2 there. Now what does 27 turn into? You add 2, it turns into 29. Now I haven't changed this space at all. I've just raised them all. I've raised this guy up to 29. I'll raise this guy up to 20. But this space has not changed. So now the problem is turned into 29 minus 20, which is 9. Now this is might seem a little complicated at first, but when you get the hang of this, it makes math really easy and you can do it with some hard problems. Let's try a few. 
All right, here's a little sample problem again using the same trick. I look at this problem and I go, yeah, I got to do all that business. But what's a much easier problem? Now, the key is to turn this into something with zero. So if we shoot over, and how can I, I want to turn this into a 20 because that's the closest zero. It's only adding three. Now, so I got to get this dude to stand on three. And if I have him stand on three, and I have to have this guy stand on three. That would turn him into 48. So this, believe it or not, this is the exact same problem. The space in between these is going to be the same because we've just had them stand on three steps each. So the space, their height doesn't change. So 45 turns into 48, 17 turns into 20. And look at this. No, no uh, borrowing or carrying or any of that business. And look at how easy this problem is. 28, 8, easy, cheesy, 1, 2, 3, easy. All right, I got to show you this. This is one. I find this interesting. Check this out. So here's one that just ick. Doesn't look good. But if I want to get this to a zero, right? So I want to get this to 90. So if I have this guy stand on two, he turns into 90. And then I have, I have to have this guy stand on two. And he turns into 120 what? 21. 22, 23, 23, right? Ah, but now you're saying this is still hard. This is hard to do in your head. But watch, if you want, you can keep this going. So I can even make this easier. I could add 10 to turn this into 100. And I could add 10 more to turn this guy into 133. Now look at this. Look at how easy that is. Three. Three answers, 33. Now, I know this might seem at first more difficult, but once you get quick at this, all this stuff you would be doing in your head. And believe it or not, because I know from experience as someone who had a lot of trouble with math and then found it really, really easy using these tricks, you'll your mind will start to move things around automatically and quickly. It is the coolest thing ever once it starts to happen. And that's why I created Fast Math U. I hope you use this trick. I hope you enjoy it. I hope it makes math fun and easy for you. I'll have some other practice things so you can practice this trick. Good luck. Enjoy some math. Make it creative. Have some fun.